Hey guys, and welcome back to another Halloween video. Now, uh, before this video starts, I just want to say apologies if my voice sounds a little bit nasally. I have been recovering from a cold for the past few days, um, but I wanted to get this video out, so apologies in advance if my voice is a little bit nasally. Regardless, though, I am very excited to talk about the building I have today. It is the Lamax exclusive for Michael's 2021 The Witching Hour. So this building, if you ask me in my opinion, I think it's essentially like a complete upgrade from the Witch's Tower that came out a few years ago now. I did a review of that piece when it came out in 2018 as a Michaels exclusive, I believe. Um, I did a review of that piece along with the Symphony. While I thought it was cool, I thought that there were certain elements about it that could have been done better, uh, specifically the lighting. Uh, but to me, this feels like the best realized idea of the whole Witch Tower concept. Uh, this is an awesome looking building here. And uh, there's several points of animation on it, and I guess, actually, that's a good segue to talk about. So, first up here from the animation, at the bottom, you have this chase scene where you have two people here that are being chased by witches. Uh, really, really cool. You've also got this attachable apparatus at the top of the building. It comes in the box. You have to hook this on the top here, but is this little attachable top where the witches, you put it in and then they rotate around. Super cool. I love how they're lit with different colors. And of course, the most striking thing about this building is the clock. Now, interestingly enough, this is an astronomical clock. I had no idea that these existed until this building came around. Now, I guess my one criticism of the building is I wish that it was a real clock, like a real clock you could tell the time with. This one is just animated. I don't think you can tell the time on it. So it's really the only thing that I think could have made it better. But still, it looks awesome. It's really cool. Again, how it's not like your traditional clock. It's an astronomical clock. Uh, I dig that. It's cool to see different kinds. And again, looks very cool. You can see it's animated very well. Um, I love some of the details here. I love how the whole fortress is built into a rock, like a big castle. It, just, it looks great. This would work great for your medieval theme. They don't do a bunch of those buildings, but I think that you really could use that for this one. And uh, as far as like some of the different scenes on here, you know, of course I talked about the animated points, but down here you have this witch uh, at the cauldron, the flames, and the cauldron will slowly pulsate, and there's a light that'll shine on her with the soundtrack will cure her uh, when she starts talking. Again, really, really cool. You kind of have to have a cauldron in a witch building though, right? So um, yeah, it just adds a little bit more going on with the piece without actually having any animation, which is cool. Now, uh, one thing I completely forgot about with this piece, there is this attachable landing pad a sign that you hook on the side of the building. I completely forgot about it in this review. So yeah, just FYI. Again, I think that this is a very, very well done piece. Um, the paint on it's great. Even though it's not super heavy, it's not like a very heavy piece, I think that it's still, it's very, very well done. And uh, yeah, huge, huge fan of this piece. It's one of my favorites of the year. Alright guys, I think that'll do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, for my next video, we're going to stick with the witch themes and we're going to go hat shopping.